What are the chances out of 914 wild bird species in the United States that West Texas is home to a little camouflaged ground nesting bird that won't fly until it's flushed? What are the chances that we have breeds of dogs with a nose that is 40 times more sensitive than a human, runs like the wind through briars and cactus, and then freezes like a statue when they smell a quail? What are the odds that in 2006, a Pennsylvania billionaire would donate $5 million to the leading quail expert in the region in order to create a research ranch in Roby, Texas? Who could predict that a successful businessman from South Carolina would move to Aspermont, Texas to pursue his love of quail hunting and become the chairman of the Rolling Plains Quail Research Foundation in 2006? Who would guess that in that same year, a group of Dallas sportsmen would form the largest quail conservation group in the country in T. Boone Pickens' hometown? What cosmic twist of fate would cause one of the world's leading authorities on parasites to move his team of 40 scientists from Clemson University to Texas Tech? And who would have guessed that he owned bird dogs and was an avid quail hunter? How is it possible that all of these people were first-hand witnesses to the most catastrophic wildlife pandemic ever recorded, have published 27 peer-reviewed papers, and are on the verge of getting the first ever FDA approved medication for wild birds. Is it just a coincidence or is it Park City's quail destiny to solve the mystery of our declining quail population? Could it be the people in this room tonight that will be responsible for one of the greatest wildlife conservation stories in our lifetime? There's a Bob White quail a bird dog, and a 20-gauge shotgun. It's too perfect to be random.